Hi, I'm Olga, and today we are going to teach you about how to take care of your own poinsettia, all the way from preparation to selling them. The first thing you want to do is make sure you go to your local poinsettia seller around August so that it's prepared by the December holiday. After you order your poinsettias, you'll have to get your um, location ready for transplant. The first thing you'll have to do is get holes pounded around your table where you have your poinsettias. You'll then take some shade and you'll put it through and hang it over the tables so that the um, plants will have plenty of shade in the hot summer times. After you get your poinsettias that come in trays like this, you will pinch the bottom of the tray and pull it out like so. You'll take six inch pots and fill up the soil to the very brim. Today I'm going to use a four inch or a three inch pot, but it'll be the same kind of way. After you have that done, you'll be ready for a successful poinsettia season. That's pretty neat. Now after you transplant them, you're going to have to work on watering them. And for now we're using just plain water, and you're going to water them until they get to the brim of the plant, like this, and make sure the water filters through the bottom to get nutrients in through it. And then after that step, you're going to start watering it with fertilizer. And we use um, 17, 5, and 19, which is like the amounts of N, P, and K, which is nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And this is the type that we've been using on our poinsettias. And it seems to work really well in getting the nutrients it needs in there. And then also, along with the fertilizer, you need to use band rot. And you water it with band rot every 30 days to prevent root rot, which is due with overwatering. That's pretty neat. In this part, you may want to learn about how to protect your poinsettias from bugs. If you think you may have a bug infestation, uh, go to your flower shop and purchase some sticky traps. After planting your sticky traps, if you have three or more of the same type of bug, figure out what kind of bug it is and then go to your local uh, floral shop and get uh, insecticide like this. This this is mallet and the next insecticide we use pyrethrum bombs. So you should pinch your pot when the roots have gone all the way down to the bottom of your pot. Then you pinch off the tallest bracket on each flower. This will help this will encourage plant growth plant growth at near the bottom of your plant to help it a fuller, brighter color. There are many aspects to selling your poinsettias. First, you need to make sure that they are big and full and colorful like these. You need to make sure that you calculate everything that you have gotten for your poinsettias. For example, you need to pick, you need to calculate how much your plants were each, the pots that you use, the sheets that you use, the people that work for you, and the fungicide and insecticide that you have used in your experiment. After you figure out how much you'll be selling them for, start advertising. Make sure you get the word out there, so that way you, you can try to make back all the money you used to put into this project. Isn't nature great?